Thank you for tuning in. This is Watt Sixto. My name Sixto. Today is another review on a actually pretty interesting little piece. It's a Casio yacht timer. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but this little bad boy, X, uh, from what I have looked up, this guy actually came out before the Rolex Shopmaster. The Rolex came out in 92. And this little guy came out in uh, 89, believe it or not. They use this to time yachts or whatever uh, uh, whatever other event they were doing. I think it was a, a Rogaria event. So they use these to time, um, obviously, uh, like the if you're doing a uh, racing for the yacht you use this to time that you um, don't start it at the starting line you start it when it's going because you know uh, they're sailing so you gotta build up speed and momentum so that's why you use this to uh, time it I don't know how how the Rolex Yacht Master is used because I won't be able to get my hands on one of those. But this is actually a pretty cool little find. It's a, it's a 10 bar water resistant, so 100 meters. Stainless steel case back, as you can see, is a screw down crown. It's a quartz movement, Japanese, obviously. And let's see what we got. It has tells you that the water resistance, stainless steel, that's a Japan, 520. 933 Casio It's a TRW 301 That's a model The TRW And this little guy measures uh, From lug, lug to lug It's 44 uh, From The uh, 8 o'clock and the 2 o'clock Are pretty much like the 1 The 2 to 1 Or the not the two to one, the eight to one is at uh, um, thirty eight, and here it, it, it uh, between the nine and three it'd be about this. It should be the same thirty eight. Uh, this little guy, the thickness is uh, ten meters thick, as you can see it from the way the case has the nice little beveled edge and gives it that little extra lip as you can see it's also a screw down case back and the uh, uh, lug width lug width is the 18 18 millimeter lug width is on a, uh, a, a, a pretty much like a the res resin strap that they use on their uh, G-Shock line it still looks pretty brand new. Of course, it's the stainless steel buckle and also the tang. And if I could get it on the wrist, give you a little wrist shot and walk you somewhat through the the features that this guy has. It's pretty uh, cool. Here it is on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Let me zoom out a little bit or a lot and. actually pretty cool I'm interested in to know if you guys ever heard of Casio yacht, yacht timer so as you can see from this is your your running seconds this is uh, actually where your meter shows that your seconds are running up to uh, uh, to run through the time which is pretty interesting it gives you your your day date on here then to adjust the time, you hit this button where it says adjust. You see it flickering. Then you hit the mode and you move over to set the time. Then once you're done, you hit the mo uh, the adjust. Then one click over, you push the mode button again. It gets you into the yacht time. You can set it up to 
he set it up to uh, set up to whatever you want, and it's a then this is your start button, your restart button, and to to adjust, like to give it time. Like say if you want to add time to your your uh, your lap, say it's and say it takes you about ten minutes to get it going, then then you get started, reset. Then you hit this again, and it gives you the stopwatch. The same features. Um, so I believe this would be the D button starts it, and the B button to reset it. Then you have an alarm fix, uh, function or feature. Once that's set, then it's all back to the beginning. It's a pretty cool little watch. Uh, they used this to race back in the day. I don't know. If, uh, if uh, yacht, uh, whatever the term will be for the rate for yacht racing, it's actually a pretty cool little watch. Vintage, still looks pretty much pretty pristine minus the case back. Not too shabby of a watch. Interesting to know what you guys think about it. If you guys ever had one in your collection, this is actually my first time seeing one. Uh, only thought Rolex made a Yacht Master watch. But hey, learn something almost every day. Until the next one, you guys are, are awesome. Bye.